And good evening. We begin tonight with the Richland County Jail as videos from inside that facility show living conditions some may call disturbing. The video shows disconnected toilets and sinks with sewage floating in cells. News 19's Peyton Lewis has a closer look at the videos and the response from Richland County. No matter what they did wrong, yes, they did wrong. And some of them didn't do wrong, but they're still human. Like, why are they treating them like they're less than the ground that we walk on when they're human? Marquita Town says her fiance has been detained inside the Richland County Jail since August. She says the conditions he and other inmates are experiencing are inhumane. When she was sent social media video from inside the jail depicting uncooked food and overflowing sewage, she says she wasn't surprised. I've had to call the facility because the shower was backing up. Whenever they would take a shower, the water would, even if it was quick, he, like, he, he was like, I tried to take a five minute shower and bef before I know it, the water's coming right back up. The food, uh, a lot of times they only get in bag lunches. In these, in these bag lunches, it has these imitation Oreo cookies and it's a pack of four and maybe two sandwiches and a juice or something and, and it's, everything is cold. The videos also show toilets disconnected from walls and a lack of running water in the sinks. I got to cover it with this. In response to the videos, the jail has issued this statement saying, quote, we have reviewed the recent videos posted on social media from the detention center, and we recognize they show some legitimate concerns that our staff is working diligently to address. However, it is important to acknowledge several other videos were recorded in an unauthorized, unoccupied area currently closed for renovation. Additionally, the release of these videos also indicated that there are flaws in the security system, which is intended to prevent detainees from obtaining contraband cell phones and we are working to correct that. We reached out to Richland County with further questions about the current living conditions and have not received a response. Reporting in Columbia, Peyton Lewis, News 19 WLTX.